Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one um, system to do from Universe Gaming in my Discord server so massive thanks to them for sending this in and you may be wondering why am I doing two of these in a row and I just thought well that last one was quite a short one so I thought we'd um, we'll do a double whammy um, and do two of them in a row this time around so yeah we're on episode 98 now we're getting close to that we are so close to that 100 now but anyways let's get into this okay so the system is called the um edu i can't even say i'm so sorry i can't i can't really say this one very well but you can see um the name of it there the Isidarian system it's really sorry if i'm scrapping that but anyways here is the stars so we'll go ahead and uh, start off here so the sun no around it okay so here is the um whole system okay it's got some interesting trail colors in here oh i'm liking that right so we have a sun nova remnant out of all things let's uh, just check the stats on this guy so it's 45.6 luminosity there pretty big as we can see bigger than the regular sun but yeah anyways moving on to the first planet now and check this out whoa wow I think that's a. I think this is a Mars texture on a gas giant tinted, and that looks awesome. Look at that. That is such a cool looking gas giant. Like so unique. It, oh wow, that's looking really cool. It can run nine months as well. Let's uh, slow it down. Actually, play it. So yeah, look at that. That is a really cool. Uh, look at all the gases and stuff like rotating on it. Oh, that's so cool. That's, uh, I really really like it when people do um like rocky textures on gas giants it just gives them such a cool look and yeah that's definitely a mars underneath tinted green and that look that is such a cool looking object really really like that one so yeah very nice job there okay next up okay there's some interesting names in here um <laughs> i like drains so we got this one here really like the color on this one wow that's a very nice red and uh, it may have a tint on it as well it's got some blue in the poles as well yeah that, that's definitely tinted but that looks great really like the color on there very nice and shiny so there is that one okay next one we got big banded okay oh look at this you can see its bands are all rotating uh, there but yeah here it is yeah and that is i've not seen a rainbow gas giant like this before this must be all brand new look at all the colors on there he's just gone absolutely nuts with all the different colors look at that so there it is there rotating pretty quick as well but yeah there we are wow really like that one um there we go next up we got Rhea test okay Oh, is you, oh, it's a colonized Rhea with an Earth. So it's got Earth landscape, Rhea texture with a green atmosphere. Oh, that is cool. So it's like a completely rocky looking Earth with the Rhea texture on it. That looks pretty cool. Look at that. Wow. So I think that was the object that was in the... Uh, I think that was the one we loaded to first. And then we have a Mars Terra here. So um, here we go. So this is... Um, seen ones like similar to this before it's frozen up at the moment got a white atmosphere with a blue um greenish tint underneath as well there so give it that green looking mars so yeah there we go there looking really really cool actually i really do like that rear test that's quite cool so um we've got that one there All right now moving on to this one. Oh my god is this a gas giant damn look at the reflectiveness on that minus 30 degrees that is an ultra pink looking object there wow that is crazy very very bright indeed just look at it from a distance it's almost like it's glowing that is, that's really cool and then we got um this one here right here we go what was this one look like so um okay so it's normal i know that's a venus texture by the looks of it i think that's a venus texture under there tinted green looking very nice indeed as well liking that 14 degrees let's check the stats on this one so scroll down 97 and 38 okay there they are um next up we got this planet here oh i'm liking that i really like the white clouds the white clouds are a cool feature with the white atmosphere there so there it is so it looks more like a desert sort of world under there but yeah there we go so there is that one all right moving on okay so we've done the rear test okay so the next one out is this one. Oh, and i'm liking the uh, green atmosphere because it was like a definitely like a toxic sort of look to it oh yeah so that like paler sort of green i'm liking that i'm just looking good the planet from this angle looks really, really cool. So it's like a frozen jungle-looking world right there. Or a toxic jungle world. I don't know. But yeah, toxic sort of world. Frozen, toxic world. So yeah, there we go. Next up, we've got Color 1 here. So that is just an all-white uh, object, as we can see there. All-white gas giant. Could have been a random spawn. Who knows? Uh, and then we've got Color 10 over here. Okay, so that's just an all-white object maybe these ones uh these modded objects didn't go the way you wanted them to maybe, since they're all white then we have a um a mint green one there as well all right so there's that then we have this green one here so oh i love the green upstairs 
They're so cool. It's a frozen green world with a super green atmosphere on it. Looking very fine indeed there. 12 degrees. So that's in theory, this is um, this should be melted. So let's just go ahead and see what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so it should look something like this. But when you click play, it will probably freeze. Or maybe not. But yeah, there it is there. So yeah, that is looking good. So there we go. Love the green trails as well. Coloured trails are really cool. So there's that. Right, now we have this Lars object here. This one's tinted as well with a green tint. So it's got a um, pinky um, atmosphere there with a green tint underneath it there. Very interesting combination of colours there, the pink and the green. So yeah, there we go there. Looking good. So there we go. So that's Lars. Rightio. Okay, so we've done all the colour ones. Okay, um, yeah, we did that one. Okay, so we're just checking here. We've done all these guys. Um, so moving out. Okay, colour four, I think. Oh, no, colour two. Oh, nice. All yellow gas giant. That's looking good. Not many people use um, the colour yellow there, but that's looking very fine there, indeed. Very nice. All right, and moving on to the next one. Um, it was colour four over here. So this one, again, very similar shade, but it's actually more of a lime green colour there. Then we've got colour five, an all grey gas giant there. Colour six, I'm assuming is a magenta sort of coloured, yep. Yeah, like the trail colour there. So there it is. It's all around 25,000 kilometres there. Right, they're moving out to colour 8. Okay, so this is very similar to a custom Uranus looking like object here. So there it is there, very far out. As we can see, also 25,000 kilometres there. Right, going even further out now to colour 9. A nice, uh, that's quite a nice shade of blue actually, look at that. Maybe that, that, that'd be not too bad of a shade for a custom Neptune. Maybe a slight tint. It does look a little purplish. Sort of see a bit of, more of like an indigo violet sort of shade. But that's quite a nice shade of um, bluey um, purple there. So, um, yeah, there is that. Looking good. And then the last object is, lol, I'm alone. <laughs> with a um, specific symbol there. But <laughs> look at that. Oh, dear. So, um, yeah, there we go. So, minus 270 degrees. And, yeah, very far away from the star, as we can see. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, 560 AU. This is like Sedna sort of distances away from the star there. So, yeah, there we go. And that, is that any more? Or is that everything? So, let's just go zoom all the way out. And yeah, I think that is everything, guys. So here we are. Let's get the lineup of all the objects here. So yeah, my favourite is definitely. I really like this. I think this one, the, the sort of ref the reflective glow to it. Really, really like that. Did like the rainbow one as well. But I think this one. I think this one takes the cake for me. I really, really like the yeah, I like trains one. <laughs> but yeah, that really like the reflectiveness on that. Really nice shade of red uh, on there. This one was also pretty cool. There's just ultra shiny glowing uh, gas giant. It's not even a gasser. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just a normal gas giant. It's not like a brown dwarf gasser modded object. It's just, you know, just a regular gas giant. It's very, very shiny. Probably like an amplified version of this actually. You can see there is a blue area in the north, which is exactly the same as the way that one has. But yeah, there we go. Out of the rocky planets, hold on, these things are massive compared to all the other ones. This one as well, definitely one of the most most notable ones there. That looks really cool. There's all of his color versions. So you can see, yeah, some of those colors were very similar. As we can see there. But going to the other Rockies. Where was it? I have to say, I really did like this. The, the rear test there. And this one as well. I'm liking them. Nice colour blending with those as well. So yeah, they're my um, top picks for the planets in here, guys. But yeah, let me know um, what you think down below. And as I'm sure um, the creator of this system, Universe Gaming, will be interested to hear your thoughts on his system as well. So yeah, let him give me any feedback if you feel necessary. And yeah, that is everything, guys. So remember, if you want to send in your own systems, make sure to join my Discord link in the description. And then you can um, go to the upload chats in there and you can um, select your file from your simulations folder and then you can just drag it in. That's the easiest way um, to do it. Or you can send it to me in a private message with the same method as well. Just drag it out of your folder. Nice and simple. Discord just uploads it all for you. All good. So yeah, that is that. And yeah, guys, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video as well. And also subscribe. Helps on the journey to 10,000 subscribers. Says, yeah, we're getting close. We're climbing there. Slowly but surely, we're doing good. So yeah, massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed and continues coming back every video. Massive thanks to all of you guys. And yeah, that is everything. So make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.